Hi, I'm Andrew from Cruise Master and welcome to Cruise Master Class. In the last episode, we had a chat with the guys from Airbag Man and learned about everything that goes into airbags. This week, we're going to be looking at how you set your ride height on your air sprung caravan. Any suspension, it's important that it's run at its optimum ride height. This makes sure you've got the right amount of compression and rebound travel required to handle any terrain. Now, when it comes to an air suspension, the, obviously the ride height changes depending on the amount of pressure you put into it and how much weight is on it. So we need to make sure that it's set correctly. On our control systems level one, level two, three and three wireless, this is a manual operation. On level four, it's all looked after by the um, automatic air control system. To set the ride height, there's two ways of doing it. On our XT, we measure between the bump stop and the underside of chassis, and we call that bump stop clearance. On our ATX, because it's a bit harder to measure the bump stop clearance, we're measuring the distance between the top and bottom mounts on the rebound cable. The measurements for those are in your owner's manual, so make sure you check those out. The XT slightly differs depending on what weight rating of suspension you've got. So let's head under the trailer now and I'll show you what it's all about. It's important that before we get underneath the trailer or caravan to set the ride height, that we've made sure it's secure, maybe the wheels are chocked since it's attached to a vehicle, and that we're on level ground. Because unless we're on level ground, we're not going to be able to make sure that the ride height is set correctly. All right, here we are under the trailer. On XT, like I said before, we're measuring bump stop clearance. So we're going to cut to that now just to show you what that is. The bump stop's mounted at the back of the arm and you're measuring from the top of the bump stop to the underside of the chassis rail. And that is 65 to 85 millimeters, depending on your airbag. So just check your manual before you do that. So on ATX that we have here, we're looking at the distance between these two rear rebound cable mounts. So we get our tape measure out and we're sitting at about 300 there. So we need to put some air in it to lift it up because the target that we're aiming for is 360 millimeters. This is nice and easy because I've got the Cruise Master wireless air control system. So I can jack it up here. Probably a bit more. Let's check that. Okay, that's about spot on within a couple of millimeters. So we don't expect you to get underneath your caravan every time you need to use it. We're going to hop out now and show you how you can do it from outside the caravan. All right, now we've set the ride height from underneath the caravan. As you change the loading in your caravan, you're also going to be changing the ride height. So it's important you do not use air pressure as your baseline of your ride height of your caravan suspension. So there's a couple of ways that we can get a reference here from outside the caravan, not having to measure it underneath. One way is you can measure from the bottom of your rim to your wheel arch. That one's nice and easy. Just make sure you don't go to the ground because the tire pressure will affect that. Another way you can do it is you can make up a piece of wood to go say between the guard and the tire as a reference point. Or alternatively, we have these Cruise Master ride height indicators. These are a visual indicator that we stick on the inside of the wheel box. So it's nice and easy to make sure your ride height is correct. Let me show you how you use those. All right, so on the Cruise Master ride height indicator, what we're aiming for is to get that slot there in line with the top of the tire. Now, the best way to do that is to get yourself a spirit level. In this case, I've got a digital one, which makes it nice and easy. And we're gonna line, we're gonna square that up and mark a line on the chassis. So it's about there. We'll just mark, mark the inside there of the wheel box. We wanna line that up with the slot in our plate. Right, on the plate, there's two ways you can attach it. They come fitted with 3M VHB tape, so you can simply stick it on. So peel the backing off. Or alternatively, if you want a bit more security, it's got a couple of holes on the front there that you can rivet or screw it in. Just make sure if you're attaching it like that, that there's no wiring behind the panel and you, and you go through it and make a mess. So we're gonna stick that on as level as we can. Now all you have to do when you're setting your ride height you can get down and just eyeball the top of the tire and that slot in the plate and providing they're in line, you're good to go. 
Well, that's it for this episode on how to set the ride height of your Cruise Master Air Suspension. If you need any more information on your suspension or how to maintain it, check out your owner's manual. If you need more information on the Cruise Master Air Suspensions to be fitted to your new caravan, check out our website. And finally, if you want to grab some of these ride height indicators, our Cruise Master web store is where you can get those. There's plenty more episodes coming out for Cruise Masterclass, so make sure you're tuned in to Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to make sure you don't miss out.